Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. We're having a great day already, and it's only 9.45. We slept in on, late on accident, but we... We wanted to get to the park at 8 a.m. We wanted to get to the park at 8 a.m. We have fast bus at 8 a.m. Park opens at 8 a.m. What time did Peter and Sarah wake up? 7.30. 8 a.m. Oh. I got out of bed at 8 a.m. May have woken up at 7.30, didn't get out of that stupid bed till 8. Well... But now, we're here. We're getting a gingerbread shingle for my mother. Not right now, after. But they had the espresso machine back at the DVC wing and I asked the concierge and they'll, they'll let me make a cup. So that's looking like a great start to the day right there. Free cup of espresso and Grand Floridian smells. It's not going to be here forever, and it's running, and it's running today, so it's going seasonal, so it's not even guaranteed that it is actually an attraction every day. May I have your attention, please? All rise for the Galactic Federation Grand Councilwoman. Welcome, recruits, to the Galactic Federation Prisoner Teleport Center. Uh, what's that? Sergeant, we have an incoming level three. Uh, 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 level three? Animatronic, yeah, and then those like guns in there, crazy, sophisticated. So like, it was the first time I didn't plug my nose during the chili. Thing. I forgot how bad it smells like chili, <laughs> and it's it was just a strange ride. I get why it's leaving, I but I'm gonna really miss don't. it. Like, I feel like I feel like it's leaving because it's like uncomfortable. Yeah. I feel like it probably get complaints about that. This must have been out last night for the festivities, but we're gonna see about getting a quick photo shoot. In front of this here, oh, photo. oh, photo shoot in front of this here, Cinderella carriage. We have an update to our events of the day. Space Mountain, we overslept our fast pass, but we snagged one when we got in the park. Then we go to go on it, and it's down, which doesn't happen too often. So we got a re add to go on any ride except for Peter Pan or Seven Dwarfs. So we were gonna wait and go on Space Mountain again, or we were debating going on Big Thunder. But then our neighbor, who we babysat their kids, for, their children for, um, they just bought a house. So we're gonna help them move some furniture that they need moved like today. So we're gonna go on Big Thunder, and then go leave Magic Kingdom, and go meet them at the at their new house to see it and help them. So that's where our adventure is leading today. The devastating news. Cream cheese 
pretzel is a wait for this. We've been waiting. We've been waiting to get it. But we got caramel. Caramel filled. Caramel filled. A pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese filled. What do you think of the caramel filled chocolate pretzel? Really good. I already tried my piece of the uh, jalapeno cheese filled one. It's super good. Not too spicy. So if you're susceptible to spiciness, that's okay. Chocolate sauce. Delicious. They're definitely a good, good snack. Uh, this will probably hold us over until dinner now. And it's our last for Rockford. Starting back. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of got off check with the holidays well, and visiting Chicago. So this is our last one. Bing, zang, boom. We're having couscous for dinner. I know we're going to get flight for this one right here, especially because we were just in negative yes. temperatures. It is freezing today. I think it's because I, I foolishly wore shorts and flip-flops, knowing that it was going to be a little chilly, but it's like 50 and raining, and there's a nasty breeze right now. Woo! Makes you really walk briskly between those rides. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be saying this when it's like 100 degrees and we're still Right, in like five weeks it'll be 700 degrees, so we'll be like, we missed the cold. We're, we're seeing something cool. This is called the Rainy Day Cavalcade. Hey, Woody! That is like what you call the rainy day cavalcade when, uh, the, when the dancers put on like rain gear and then they put everybody in all the characters in cars and they play singing the rain music. I haven't seen that since the old three o'clock parade, but that was the movie ticket celebrated version. It was cool. So we don't know why, but we're leaving to go back to Grand Floridian to get our car to meet our friends at their new house. Top of furniture, but they're handing out sugar cookies. It's the new year. When you leave the park. And I think this really is the last time we'll see it. And it really, yeah, it's the last time we'll see Magic Kingdom at Christmas because we're not coming back to Magic Kingdom probably we're till. We're coming back again. Probably till next weekend. Look how gloomy it looks today. It's a blustery day in the Hundred Acre Disney World. Sarah and me sat in wet, in wet seats, and we're running. We're running. I can't run because my foot hurts. The magic continues. So we forgot to get Sue, Sarah's mom, a gingerbread shingle before we went to Chicago. So we're like, all right, we have to go. Today's the last day for the gingerbread house. It's closing today, and they're taking it down tomorrow. It was buy one, get one free for the gingerbread shingles. We got a shingle out of today, too. We were super lucky today. It's like Walt's magic <laughs> emphasizing the, the last day. We're ringing in the new year, and then really helping us milk this last day of the vac of like the holiday because we go back to yeah. we go back wow. to normal life tomorrow i go to the office there goes back to her normal designing schedule we've been home for a few hours now we had dinner kind of watched some movies and i worked on something very cool so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you right here but i've been working on a little just announcement slash preview for this vlog to uh let everybody know that it's happening i got my equipment dom's on board we're going to talk about uh, technicalities that we won't bore you with, but we are starting our podcast, and it is called From Turnstile to Turnstile, Let's Talk Theme Parks. Welcome to Park Hopper Podcast. Today is January 1st, 2018, and after many weeks of speculation, I'd like to announce Dom and I are beginning our podcast, a podcast about everything theme parks, rides, food, and just good times. So prepare your ears. Well, there you have it. We are starting our podcast named... No, you're not. We're not? <laughs> Sarah says we're not. We are starting our podcast. I believe we're going to do a first recording uh, this weekend or before. We're, we have to like talk about technicalities and stuff like that. What content is going to be for the first couple episodes. And you heard it first here, if you didn't hear it on our Instagram yesterday, but it is called the Park Hopper Podcast. We will be discussing experiences we've had, working, going to, not just Disney, but Universal, SeaWorld, Legoland, Cedar Point, Six Flags, all the Six Flags, Hershey Park. We're going to, there's no limit 
as long as it's the theme park, we're gonna cover it. Guys, it's really cold. <laughs> we're going to the movies at Downtown at Disney and Sarah's like falling apart. I don't know, I, it's really cold. <laughs> okay, so we came to Downtown Disney Springs, so it's really cold, I'm so sorry. I should not be wearing flip-flops and shorts. Um, it's we, like look at, they have all this open. So, all the new stuff. We're gonna try to see if we can get in the Edison. Wait, are they all open? I think it's all open. Wait a minute. So here's Maria, Maria and Enzo's Ristorante. Pizza Ponte. Look at this cute. These look like my family members. These do look like your family members. We had some of these photos like this at our wedding. They have cannolis here and sandwiches. Oh, and pizza, and desserts. Look at that pizza stove back there. I was wrong. This is Pizza Pont, the pizza and sandwich joint. The actual restaurant is next door, and it's not opening yet. It's going to open up in like a week, they said. Oh, look at the prosciutto. Oh, wow. We apologize for how sporadic that just was. Yeah, that was a little crazy, but it's real busy. We'll collect ourselves. We'll collect ourselves. Oh, look at the sign for Enzo's. So they said Enzo's. <laughs> They said Enzo's, the tunnel bar, is going to open up uh, the first or second week of February. So we're going to try to keep an eye out for that. There's this little stand here. I'm scared to stand on it. But here we go. There's Enzo's. So there's the hideaway bar sign. Super cool. And you we would go... The only problem is we heard that it was going to be like Walt's hideaway bar. Yeah. Like, Walt's so, I'm, theme, so I'm a little just disappointed. The restaurant is Maria and Enzo's. Then there's the just the pizza pond, which is like quick service for the restaurant, and then the tunnel bar. So you'd go down here. It's supposed to be kind of like a speakeasy, where they've got little quick items and cocktails. They still have a lot of things covering it, barricades and stuff, but it's still very cool. Super excited, super cold. That's why I'm being extra ridiculous right now. So here's Maria and Enzo's restaurant, pizzeria. So there's like the quick service. Then over here is the actual restaurant. The Edison coming soon. All right, here we've got Trans Global Airways, which makes sense. Dream it, then do it. Luxury flights because the cast members in there are dressed up like flight attendants. Oh my God, we're in Co-op, the marketplace, and they, they have this Wonderland gallery. And look at these like prints and paintings and postcards. Look at it, in a faraway land. Long ago lived the king and his fair queen. Many years had they longed for a child, and finally their wish was granted. Well, that's special. Special. So we're back at, at AMC. It's been a while, I feel. Yeah. But now it's time to go see our boy Hugh Jackman, and for a show that we've been very, very excited for. So I hope the greatest showman. I hope it doesn't disappoint. But we've heard some different things. Ready? Let's go. That was an incredible movie. So entertaining. So entertaining. The music, the choreography. Amazing. Now, I, what I read online is that the only thing people didn't like is that it didn't do like the best authentic storytelling of P.T. Barnum's life. Guess what? I don't care. I wanted to go see a good movie with good story <laughs> and a happy ending because I'm a sucker for happy ending. So if you can get 11 or 12 bucks, I suggest it's a good investment to go see that movie. Yeah. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it just makes you think just like how lucky we all are to be here, to be alive. But I mean, here isn't just like here. Did you say goodnight? Yeah. We go back to normalcy tomorrow. Yeah. But we're lucky to have our normalcy. So, thank you for watching. Get ready for our podcast. Go see the movie. It's and it's good, good to be, be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.